Good morning from Las Vegas. I'm Amanda Mertz with Gearhead Tour, and we're here for another episode of Cars and Coffee Coast to Coast. Hey guys, I'm here with John. John, this is my first time here at Cars and Coffee in Vegas. Tell us a little bit about it. Do you come out here every Saturday? I'm starting to. This is my first time actually as well. So I was about an hour late. I didn't realize there was this many cars. Yeah. So my buddies found me a spot, saved me a spot, pulled well, in a little late. <laughs> your car's a showstopper. We saw it pulling in. I was Thanks. like, all right, I got to go over here and talk to him <laughs> about it. So tell us a little bit about your Lambo. Uh, it's a 2017 Hurricane, uh, rear wheel drive, which I prefer over the all wheel drive. It's a lot more fun. Just got it wrapped at Lusso Auto Body that did a clear bra over the whole car so it's all cleared and then it's pretty subtle right so I just put the green stripes on I it. I love the green trim yeah. I thought it was a little much at first so they did it down here did it on the side um, obviously it's all accented off the brake calipers which are green but yeah other than that it's pretty subtle. <laughs> How'd you get into cars? Actually my buddy that drives that uh, SVJ Aventador I met him at a car wash we just kind of hit it off and ended up buying a Lamborghini too. No way, that's <laughs> awesome. So have you always been into Lamborghinis? Your first one or? No, I mean, I thought the only Lamborghini I'd ever own would be the one, a poster on my wall yeah, growing right? up. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in the Midwest, pretty, pretty modest family. Mm -hmm. My dad's favorite car was a Corvette. Saved his whole life to buy yeah. one, finally did, and I used to go to car shows with him all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, you want to walk us around and just sure. show us some things? Of course. This is a, the real color. This isn't like a wrap. It's like a, a flat gray. And then I wrapped the whole car in clear bra. Got the so green sick. stripes kind of accented, like I said, off of the calipers. Yeah, the calipers. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's green stitching all the way around the car as well. So oh. just kind of just went off of that. Um, they don't come with this boiler, you know, stock. So my buddy's like, it's a little little subtle so we put another we put a spoiler on it yeah it's a nice um, little touch rift exhaust so yeah. that's why I was a little loud when you heard it coming in yeah <laughs> yeah we heard you for sure <laughs> I'm here with Denis and I've got his car behind me and my first question is what kind of car is this actually? This is an Italian Lancia. Awesome, how long have you had it? We found it in the desert two years ago. It took us two years to dig it out of the sand. Wow. It hadn't raced for 35 years and I spent two years rebuilding it. And do you race it now? Absolutely, it's already won its first class win in 35 years, uh, three weeks ago. And it's got another race with the Vara Club next weekend. So right. yeah, we it's um, Lancey is owned by Fiat now, but they used to be on their own. It's a Pitafrina design car. It raced back in the 70s. Uh, it was always a race car, built from a road car. And um, we spent two years bringing it back to life. That's amazing. Yeah. Are you out here every Saturday or is this one of your uh, first? Pretty much. Uh, my wife runs a little bug eye. She races that and she's also got a big three liter Healy that she brings out here and I bring my my little Fiat um, 124 Spider out sometimes too so we come quite a bit. That's but awesome. We thought we'd bring the race cars out to show everybody what can be done and promote the club and promote classic racing. Heck yeah, will you mind showing me around the car? Absolutely. Let's do it. They come out with a um, 1800 engine and in 79 Lance you moved to the 2 litre engine so we upgraded this to the 2 litre engine. It's a mid-engine car, east-west motor with a transaxle, uh, rear wheel drive. So it's it's one of the few mid-engine cars in the world. Of course it's full race, everything's prepared, all up to spec, full roll cage, all up to modern spec. Oh, got, wow. got the fuel cell yeah. and um, all, all the gears, the adjustable suspension right through. So it's a, it's a full on race car. Awesome. Um, and so apparently your wife must have rode separate because she doesn't have room in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we put her in the little bug eyes. <laughs> oh, that's she, awesome. Right she now. wins she her class too. That's so yeah. cool. So, yeah, it's, it's been a two year labor of love to bring the old girl out of the buried in the sand in the desert. Yeah, what a cool story. It it's, yeah, yeah, it, it looks just, like it came a long way. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. Jenny, for your time. Thank you.
right, y'all, we're here with George, and this is his Firebird right behind us. It's awesome, definitely an eye catcher, so we had to stop and talk to him. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a 1969 Firebird slash Trans Am with the Trans Am package. Obviously a Resto Mod. Mm -hmm. We did uh, customize everything. It was built by Nostalgia Hot Rods. Mini Tub, 200R4, Butler Performance 400, on airbags, functioning top, you name it, we've done it. How long have you had it? I've had the car since 2007. I bought it as basically a bone stalker. It was, it was all beat up. Didn't have the original motor in it for all the purists out there. I didn't tear it up. We took it and built it from, took probably about four or five years of just changing things and tweaking things until we got it. I had a kind of a color scheme in mind and followed it, just red, black, and brushed. And that was it, nothing else. I love the color scheme. Can you show us around a little bit also sure. and tell us sure, some things sure. about it? We start from the back. It's got the shaved bumpers, blacked out, got rid of all the chrome. You can see all the uh, stereo system, put the subs in. We have a lip panel in the back. The whole interior is completely custom. Custom door panels, custom dash. It's got a killer sound system. A little red stitching. Uh, too. Black and red stitching. Everything from the, the cover to the, the magnetic hold, hold, hold downs for the top. Custom seats in the back. Those are 05 GTO seats. Oh, nice. Panel's probably the most unique thing. If you go over to the front of the car, you can see uh, a custom under panel. We took the air cleaner and we, had, we custom made the air cleaner to match the hood. The ram air of the hood yeah and so when you open it you can kind of still see the hood thank you so much george All love right. your car thank you All right, y'all, another awesome time here at Cars and Coffee, this time Vegas edition. They say it's a city that never sleeps, but man, I need to go home and get some sleep. If y'all like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also click the bell notification so that you never miss any new content. I'm Amanda Mertz with Gearhead Tour.